Welcome. Bye for the Jits. Yo, 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 what's the deal? How are you guys doing? My name is MGBility, representing the Legits. We're going to wait for some guys to tune in. Let us know if you can hear, hear me well. Let's see. Check, check. Let us know how it's going. Let me check if everything is going well. There's a little delay, of course. All right, I already see some people. So, yeah, we, we decided to go for a new project since this is a time that everybody's home, practicing, chilling, closing quarantine. And we decided to come up with a weekly concept to do an um, online community talk show, which, which is like a platform. We want to give a space uh, for B-boys, B-girls, producers, MCs, um, judges, um, promoters, and just give them platform to promote themselves or, or you know, talk about themselves, how they grew up in hip hop, who they got inspired from and stuff like this. So this is going to be on a weekly basis on the um, Legits Facebook um, live. And then it's going to be saved on the uh, Facebook uh, calendar and the Legits. And eventually we try to export the audio and put it on the Spotify podcast. Uh, how it's going to be like, we're going to have a special guest at each episode and the main uh, portion of the talk show will be about the main guest. But um, on top of that, we're going to have a different uh, uh, parts of the of the talk show. Uh, we're going to feature a new newest track or newest mixtape in a scene, and, you know, give a little shine on the producers and DJs uh, in the community. We're going to feature a jam. So we will call the organizer. We give him, a, let's say, five minutes to promote his jam and tell us more about the jam. Uh, what else? We're going to have uh, the Legits contest, of course. This is uh, powered by the Legit, so you guys uh, can answer simple questions about the guest. And then we choose one winner who's going to get some goodies from the Legit. Um, what else we have? Uh, so we have a you know special guest, obviously. We got something else. Let me see. I don't want to miss anything. Mm. Yeah, I mean, this was also inspired by the live perspective series that we did five years ago on the YouTube. Maybe you've seen or maybe you haven't. But uh, this is how we're going to go. So without further ado, let me see how many people are live. OK, yeah, I think I think we much. can start introducing our first guest. Let me see if you know who this guy is. Oh, damn, sorry, wrong video. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Uh, so our guest is coming all the way from Poland, and he's famous for musicality. Check it out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for a b-boy, a singer, a musician, a towel master, the videographer, a world traveler, and one of a <laughs> one of a kind guy, my boy, one of my best friends, b-boy Kleju. What's up? Yo, what up? Ability, the place to be. Let's go, baby. Woo! Where you at? In How quarantine. How you guys doing, everybody? I'm in quarantine. Luckily, I have some studio equipment so I can join you guys. Do your classes. How's it going? I'm going good, man. Like, I've been busy. Like, I had so much work to do, catch up. So, for me, this is actually great. But we're going to talk about you. So, uh, I think we can jump in straight to the interview. And we got some questions that are you know, prepared by me, but we got some questions from the fans. So let's see what, what you got and how long this is going to take and how much inspiration we can get from you. And by the way, people, let us know how the live stream is working, if you can hear us well and where you're from and what's going on. 
So anyway, Clayton, yeah. first first question. Why hip hop? Why hip hop? Mm -hmm. uh, hip hop is, is just amazing culture, man. Like it's it's just good vibes and like you know creativity at, at its best. You know, like being creative and um, creating cool, uh, <clears throat> creating just positive, you know, outlet for people, for the people that you maybe you know they have nothing but they can create something out of nothing. You know, that's why hip hop is also so, super fun. You know, like being creative and like um just just hip-hop is fun you know it's just i i love it i i enjoy it you know i love doing it everything about it all the all the elements and so what did breaking give you actually you've been b-boy for how many years <laughs> probably over 20 years now so it's been a long time so when i started uh, well breaking gave me um personality maybe he also gave me like freedom in a sense that um, I was able to to quit like some of the problems from my childhood, maybe you know, and just mm -hmm. be free in in like in the movement and just go and uh, throw all my emotions away and just like have fun, you know, and get creative. And what he also gave me, he ga it gave me um, uh, a strength and like confidence in myself. So. Everything else that is happening in my life, I feel like the confidence that I got from breaking is also like um, ex ex exporting itself to the other things that I'm doing, you know? So without breaking, I wouldn't be able to do all the projects I'm doing. I'm, I wouldn't be able to travel so much um, because, you know, it, it all, it's like breaking gave me all of this. So mm -hmm. breaking is amazing. And how did you start breaking? What was how your first? Yeah. Well, how, what was your first inspiration? Like why? Like how? How you got into it? Well, I I think I think I started breaking um, at one of the camps my mom was organizing. Uh, oh. She was organizing camp, camps for scouts for like like thirty or maybe more years, you know. So always at these camps there was like some kind of ce celebration at the end, like a, a party disco thing for for you know for the kids. And uh, and always at the discos, there will, there will be a moment when like the cipher was created, you know. So yeah. during like there in the cipher, somebody would like throw something, like do a worm or like a, like fake windmill and stuff like that. So I think I started there. Like I wasn't even thinking about it. I would be just there, you know, doing warm and like throwing myself on the floor, you know. That's the up. So that's that was your first. Hip, like taste of hip hop or breaking was through your mom through the camps probably yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. i think so okay what can you tell us about about this guy also my shirt Tetovi? yeah because Who, uh, a lot of people don't know Tetovi or you know like can you can you tell us <clears throat> yeah of course so Tetovi, first of all is one of my best friends and uh he was one of the main like creators and organizers in Poland in, in my country. And uh, he was organizing the biggest, the most like stylish jams that, you know, went um, went all around like Suka Prince Poland. And he was doing Mighty Four, like he would bring the, the US jams to, to Poland. He was also organizing Freestyle Session Europe. Um, he was doing the buses to Outbreak and Hmm. What else? Like he was working with uh, with uh, Fair Play Crew organizing the uh, also legendary jam uh, in in Bialystok uh, mm -hmm. over the top. Some people may know from battles like Atta Machine. Oh yeah, um, legendary and, battles for sure. Yeah, yeah, many legendary battles. So also he was helping these guys to 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 bring these people to organize it. So he was involved in all of the like the major, you know, dance events in, in Pol breaking events in Poland. And um, like personally for me, he was also like big, like one of my biggest supporters and he would just like help me communicate with people from, from outside of Poland um, to, to, to bring me to the jams and to, um, to help me, you know, travel. But also like, just like he would be just helping basic, basic stuff when I didn't know like how to do it all, you know, how to speak mm -hmm. English and all these kinds of stuff even. 
So he was one of my biggest inspirations. Unfortunately, like he got the uh, accident. He was electrified with the, with the high voltage of uh, energy, electric energy. And uh, he's like, he's been like fighting for his life for the last couple of years and he's still doing so. Um, so yeah. Maybe you can tell some. Yeah, sorry, Mashlato, you know him too, right? Yeah, Mashlato Satori is also a good friend of mine, and he is responsible. He's the person responsible for a lot of great things in in Poland, and you know, like he's. I don't. know, You probably said it. He's a co-founder of Catch the Flavor, and oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and Polski Flavor. So this guy is really responsible for a lot of uh, good stuff. So that's why we really need to let the scene know that. This guy really built the foundation of the police scene. And he inspired a lot of yeah. other people around the world through his events, like over the top, because those battles were legendary. And a lot of people don't even know like who was, you know, behind those those battles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So exactly. And also, like you said, he was uh, the co-founder of, of, of my crew, Polski Flavor, and uh, co-founder of, of Catch the Flavor. It was actually his idea to take Catch the Flavor camp that we were doing in, in Poland first, to take mm -hmm. it to the international level and connect with Outbreak Europe. And I remember that. that. So, yeah, it was very, very, like, very, like, how do you say, um, like, not easy idea to, you know, to, to go, to, to make it, you know, but he, he pushed it. And, and that's why we have already nine years of Catch the Flavor now. So, Man, for me, when he, you know, approached me to, do the collaboration catch the flavor with outbreak europe like for me it was hard to imagine that people actually gonna take workshops and they're gonna pay you know like for all these classes like it wasn't that popular i would say at that time so you guys really took it to the next level and you you know set the example or the standards for for the scene as far as the yeah. workshops so yeah 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 the credit definitely goes to Tsetovi as well so um yeah. much love to Tsetovi sending hello and greetings to his amazing family we should visit them soon try to visit them at least once a year but i've been slacking recently uh can you tell us more about uh, polski flavor what is polski flavor what it represents polski flavor is, is our crew it's um probably around 10 members it's really like hard to like count, count them all um mm -hmm. but yeah uh, it's a crew. Uh, we've got Greco, Yarko, uh, Thomas, Chuchu, uh, Mefo. Uh, we got Bartas, we got Geras, we got Pirat, and uh, we got Temp also. Some of you guys probably know I'm also in the crew, so it's, I think 10 people um, right now representing. And uh, yeah, like the idea of our crew is, is very simple. Um, each, each person it's like very strong individual like in each person in the crew has a very original style and like is strong as a as a person itself but we also are a crew together so even though everybody's different totally with the styles with the mindsets and everything but we we are like similar in some ways and we form uh, a crew that's like very strong and we we also work together on like different projects we like like i said we do catch the flavor we're working with Red Bull uh, in Poland, uh, doing the BC1 camps and, and all those. And uh, like, yeah, we work together. We uh, some some of us used to live like with each other, you know. We're good yeah. friends, and and, uh, and but we like one of the things that we represent on the floor is just original style and um, yeah, flavor. You know, something that we put a lot of you know attention to is flavor and like the shapes of the moves, the style of the moves and uh, freedom in dancing, you know? But at the same time, each person is totally different. We yeah, have the same approach, sure. but we look totally different. So that would be like the idea of Polsky Flavor. And what year you guys started? Uh, probably 2008, I think. Oh yeah, you or started nine. celebrating first, uh, 10 years. Yeah, yeah, I think it was last year. <clears throat> first, first, uh, first time we entered as Polsky Flavor, it was in mm -hmm. obsession France in 2008 or nine, and um, yeah, it's it's basically also like three main crews in Poland. That some of the guys you know from the crews were like go uh, like traveling less, and the rest of the guys wanted to travel more. And we became friends over the you know over the time when we just meet each other in different places. 
So like at some point we just decided that we're going to enter together and we become super good friends. So, so that's how we go create, created from different crews, from three different main crews in Poland. Yeah, similar story to our crew. Hasta la muerte. <laughs> it's the same story. Uh, how, how do you define your style? My style? Yeah. Well, my style is <clears throat> very much based on, um, on music. Uh, I, I put a lot of attention to, to the music and um, I try to be as free as possible just to like let go of thinking what I should do, you know, in the moment. And I'm just like trying to just be free and like relax my body and just go whenever, you know, I feel in the moment. So for example, if I, if I do the round, even on the competition, I, I like almost never think about the move that I'm going to do. I'm like just listening to the music, just like getting in, in the zone and I'm going on the floor and I'm just trying to, you know, react how the music is, is guiding me, you know? So mm -hmm. this, this is how I would define my style as, as at first. And then the second thing is like the shapes. I, I love to just create, you know, shapes that look cool and uh, something fresh and, not what's like actually trendy, you know, in the deep scene or trying to bring some like mm -hmm. fresh movements and some like something maybe different too, but also a lot like rooted in the original B-boy style, you know, like rooted in the, all the foundation and, and all those. And just being crazy, you know, bringing something different, bringing the hair, bringing the glasses, just showing people that you, can, you don't have to be like the same and, you know, like you can just bring something else and, just enjoy, you know, enjoy the dance. <laughs> That's what it is. No doubt. And how would you compare a uh, Polish scene at the moment to the rest of the world? Well, I say that kind of right now, I think Polish scene is, is very like inspired from our crew. So I would say, I think like our crew set up like some, some maybe not trend, but something that Polish scene is, is, is trying to follow. And uh, so a lot of people just, you know, try to be original, strong as, as, you know, as individuals. And there is like a lot of crews also that are, you know, strong together. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> we, we try to like dance a lot at first, not do sets. I think that's, that's how, how I would um, express Polish thing, you know. Everybody is really like trying to focus on dancing and um, bringing original styles um like different ways of just like flowing you know mm -hmm. and uh yeah i think the polish scene is pretty strong right now mm -hmm. and so how would you co compare the scene like overall you can say like worldwide let's say how it used to be how it is now and where where we can take it as far as the future you know you mean worldwide scene yeah 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 because, I mean, you've been battling all over the world and you're always, like, traveling outside of Poland. So how, how do you feel, like, what's, what's the evolution or what's the curve as far as, like, the past when you guys were maybe when you were, like, more and more active or, let's say, 10 years ago uh, as opposed to now, as opposed to where this could be 10 years from now? Like, what is your perspective um, on this, you know? Well, I think I think, like, in general, in the world, uh, a lot of a lot of b boys young b boys are very like um focused on like moves itself and uh like creating the like the difficulty of the moves mm -hmm. bringing it to another level which is great yeah. which is amazing and um and uh, it's it's something else that you know polish sin is actually doing you know yeah. i think polish sin is different from that but just to focus on the worldwide scene itself mm -hmm. Um, I think it's going to the place where there is going to be very official big competitions like maybe, you know, Olympics and uh, yeah. some other big sport events, which is going to be um, like very official, big prizes for the, for the winners and stuff like that. And we're going to have athletes, professional athletes, but then also we're going to have events more cultural, like to just last, like catch the flavor. And like, you know, some of these events where it's also important that part of the competition is very important too, but um, it's more about like exchanging the cultures, like, you know, learning and like 
just keeping the essence of, of this culture, of breaking culture and hip-hop culture. And, um, yeah, I think we're going to have both ways going sim simultaneously. Um, and, um, yeah, both ways are good, but you can also choose. There's probably going to be a lot of underground events still, and, you know, the raw, raw yeah. rawness of the event is going to be still, you know, yeah. there, all I think. About, all I about hope. the balance. All about the yeah. balance. I hope it makes sense. Cool. Um, what is your most memorable or the funniest moment of your breaking career? The funniest moment or the most memorable? <laughs> I, 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 I guess you had probably a lot of those, but if you can well, yeah, there's a lot feature of... one of them because you're a funny guy. <laughs> well, there's a lot of funny moments uh, in, my, in my career. Um, the most memorable is definitely the round that you showed in the, in the beginning. Uh, yeah. the, the beat player that got me famous, you know, people uh, was sharing this, you know, a lot in, in, in the internet. Mm -hmm. And um, like this round actually made me travel and made me, you know, people want to invite me everywhere. Uh, so this would be the most memorable moment. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know if I should say some other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got the one yeah. special video uh, about, you know, one person that you can maybe tell us more about. So let's see. Let's see if this is going to work. <laughs> But anyway, so what can you tell us about your mom? Well, my mom's an amazing person. As you can see, very like crazy, um, very open and like without any like like problems to herself like she's very just like free with it and she inspires me uh, with with a lot of like um hard work she's working very hard um she's been through some some hard moments but she's always super like positive she's always like um like she always like shows that there's always a way in every like hard situation mm. and this is what this is what she she ta taught me but she also taught me freedom and like uh, that I can choose for myself what I want. And if I wanted to go breaking, she was like there always supporting me. Mm -hmm. um, maybe not like supporting with like a lot of maybe money or stuff like that. But she was just always for me that I can choose what I want to do. You know, she was never like, um, like you have to go to study or something like that. She would tell me like, you know, she would try to like convince me and tell me the good sides of the studying or like, you know, working and stuff like that. But she would never tell me like, go do it because you have to do it. You know, she would be very, very open. And she's always positive. And like I said, like she always, she always like says there's always a way in every tough situation. Yeah. She definitely reminds me of my mom is basically the same frequency, same, same. Yeah, level. So yeah, yeah. It's, totally. it's good to see. It's amazing that she supported you as a parent because for a lot of you know dancers like parents are not so supportive so it's amazing i just wanted to feature feature her because she's a special person in in your life and she has that special energy sure. so my next question is what is your main uh, inspiration at the moment like right now like or where where do you look for inspiration because artists without inspiration you know yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so how do you support yourself as far as the inspiration because if you've been breaking for 20 years you know yeah, yeah, yeah. um i have i have a few sources of inspiration uh, the sources of inspiration right now is music and um and also like creating something out of nothing and be like the idea that anything is possible, I really believe it. And I, I, I want to try to, you know, create something very like spectacular for myself and, and, and just to prove myself that the idea is really true, you know, and um, mm -hmm. I want to try to, to move to, uh, to US, to Hollywood and try to create some music career. And, you know, I have also um, a mentor, uh, Joe, he's, my, he's also a boy from Massive Monkeys. Uh, he's been my mentor for for probably yeah. last year, and um, he's he's uh, he's teaching me a lot of like um, aspects about life, um, how you can really create 
and make make things possible and make it easier uh, to work because like you know you can have ideas and you can have um, dreams and like you can even believe that it's possible but you know maybe you don't have time because you're stuck somewhere so yeah. he's teaching me ways how to get unstuck on certain situations and how to move on and how to really focus on the things that I want to achieve you know so this yeah. would be some of the things that um, inspire me right now yeah it's definitely important to have a mentor on your way to give you the, the right direction and joe is definitely a great guy and it's great to be around yeah. him and have his support so guys let us know if you have any questions for kleju you know this is the first episode testing testing uh testing one basically so let us know if something interests you uh we have a little break with the interview we got some legends goodie new collection All right ready for you i'm gonna put in one vinyl it's breaking and the question so just put it in the facebook comment the question is simple it has to do with kleju and basically at what place of the legends blast one versus one breaking lifetime ranking is kleju cur currently ranked couldn't be longer but yeah like you can find probably this information somewhere somewhere online i'm not gonna tell you but Kleju won actually, I can say that he won around five Outbreak Europe's. We were just counting it uh, previously. It was like one-on-one, -on -one, um, the two-on-two -two and rep your country. <laughs> but what is his current ranking in the lifetime one-on-one -on -one Legis Blast? Let us know. I'm just going to keep the question on the bottom. Just answer um, uh, in the Facebook group, uh, Facebook chat. Uh Hello to Katie. I see a lot of familiar faces on the chat. Kuzia, what's up? Our team. Your mom. My Your mom, mom from here. the living room. You know what I'm saying? So definitely shout out to them for supporting the first episode. All right, we're going to keep going with the interview. What about the injury, your shoulder injury? Because a lot of dancers can relate to this. How did you recover from it? How was the feeling? Okay, Mamcha, huh? My mom, my mom is calling. Should I should I answer? <laughs> you can tell her to watch the live stream. Probably not. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. how did you recover from the in injury and how was the feeling when you battled for the first time? Yes, I'm, yes, I'm a live stream. I'm a live stream. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Facebook Good evening. Good evening. Good Sorry. So, so how was the how was the injury? How was the recovery? The whole process, uh, you know, like what did yeah, you yeah, do yeah. to so speed it up like, to be back, in, you know, back in shape? Um, so the story of my shoulder has already been probably around ten years now, maybe like nine or something, and uh, it started with the first the dislocate dislocation of the shoulder, mm -hmm. um, and after the first dislocation, I I, I got to the hospital. They, they put it back in, 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 in the thing. And uh, mm -hmm. I started to recover, probably took around seven months. Um, okay. The story also like kind of part of the story, um, I would say that um, during this time when I was, when I got injured, I really wanted to be like one of the best dancers in Poland. And I felt like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a good way. And I wanted to start traveling around. I was actually, I think I started traveling outside and I, really thought I'm going to be like the best, you know, and then, mm -hmm. you know, this, this thing happened, you know, the injury happened and uh, it really like switched a lot in my, in my head because that was a big shock. Okay. And, um, and I really like, I was thinking that maybe this is over, you know, because like mm -hmm. I used to do a lot of freezes that required, you know, the shoulder and I, I used to do a lot of like bridge freezes and uh, yeah. So I, I started, I started to recover and um, uh, what I did in the meantime, I started to do uh, videography. I took a camera mm -hmm. and we started to, to organize the camps uh, also before and I couldn't teach, I couldn't dance at the camp. So I started to really like focus on videography for the camps, okay? So um, the, in, like what, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, uh, I've been injured many times, but always when I, when I got injured, I just tried to find the way how to express myself and to, to look for some passion for something that made me feel good and made me, you mm -hmm. know, want to, you know, create and inspire. Yeah. And uh, 
So by the time I, I, I went back from the injury, back to breaking, I, I actually was even better because I had some other skill in, in, in my pocket, you know, and I could like work with different things. And uh, I was back to breaking, you know, also like hungry and more, even more ready to, to, to represent on the event. So always when I was injured, I was just like looking for some way of, you know, expressing myself. And um, I was always coming stronger and even more hungry. And uh, <clears throat> to, to quickly wrap it up, um, I was injured also last time with my shoulder. It was around one and a half year ago. Um, and then I, ha I, have to, I had to have like really like uh, hard in um, surgery of the shoulder. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at this time um, I found out that I really want to take, you know, take care of the music and try to focus on music more. And that's when the idea of like, you know, moving to the US and creating this, this big, big, you know, career dream um, started to come and like, it made like perfect sense. Um, like I could probably just say like, oh my God, again, you know, I have the shoulder injury and what is gonna happen now, you know? But instead I just said like to myself, like this was meant to be, you know, I was, I was, I was, I had to, you know, have this injury because otherwise I wouldn't maybe find time to create more music and mm -hmm. to to really like, it wouldn't give me the inspiration to make the decision and really try to make something different, you know? So basically yeah. everything happens for a reason. Basically, you know. And you just gotta take the advantage from it. Um, yeah. Would you consider yourself a successful guy? <laughs> <laughs> I... I would consider myself a successful guy. Yeah, I think so because uh, I think, well, you know, I'm I'm not I'm not like a rich person. I don't have a lot of money, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, I live in like like just normal conditions and stuff. But at the same time, I'm doing what I love to do, and uh, I I've been in many places that I wanted to visit. I've done mm -hmm. like things that you know that I wanted to do that made me happy. And uh, basically I, I think I'm happy. <laughs> and uh, for me, like happiness is the main goal in life. And, sure. uh, and um, yeah, I'm on the way to some like different things. And I have some, you know, things that I, I've planned and I think they're gonna happen. So mm -hmm. let's see. But I, I think I've already done some things that prove anything else you know to myself mm -hmm. or to to some people so i feel i feel pretty successful all right cool now i have a set of 10 quick questions all i need from mm -hmm. you is like one word answer damn so, some questions are funny maybe creative so so let's go uh what does success mean to you success one word success happiness what does hip-hop mean to you oh fun or unity one of the two this one is especially okay. for admir because he's doing a research on that one oh, word, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Hip -hop. so it would be unity huh fun okay fun all right your favorite song to get down to Ooh, favorite song right now or <laughs> well just all, okay. all time yeah all times all times all time. all time. because maybe My some people don't know and they you know they look for the song and they'll be like yo uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say mm, Breakestra Life Mix Part Two. Okay. It's like one long song for one hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the guys can Google it and get down to it. Breakestra. Uh, Breakestra. Your favorite place on Earth? Hawaii. Hawaii. No question about that. Uh, what is your favorite breaking move? Just one. That's been. That's been okay. Uh, what is your favorite food? Just one. My favorite food, just one. Yeah. Mm, 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 eggs. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Ooh, For real? your favorite yeah that's, or maybe yeah. avocado toast <laughs> with eggs yeah yeah possible for you 
many times. Yeah. Uh, your favorite music artist? My favorite music artist. Wow. That's, it could be of all times one. or right now, like whatever you feel. We're Damn. trying to see what taste see. you got. That'd be a very hard question. I'd say uh, Michael Jackson. Or Michael maybe Jackson. not. Or, your, or yourself <laughs> in the future? <laughs> maybe. I don't know. It's hard. It's a very hard question. I have too many favorite music yeah. artists. Okay. Fair enough. Your favorite upcoming B boy or B girl? My favorite upcoming B boy or B girl? Damn, mm -hmm. that's, that's a good one. Um, well, that's a good shout out. That's exactly that's a good. That's what we're trying to do over here, you know, build a platform Damn, for other guys one. to shine, and get recognized. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, uh, B boy Vigor from Poland. All right, cool kids flavor in the cool building. Kids, cool kids flavor. It's one of our yeah. students and the whole crew, though, actually. Yeah, I remember last time I actually saw Sister Tovi before uh, accident was uh, he showed me Vigor at Catch the Flavor in Poland. He was like, yo, this guy's going to be dope. And yeah. what is it, seven years later, Vigor is killing yeah. it. It's been a long time. It's been a long time that the, the guy's been coming to our camps and like Representing. Um, they actually created the whole crew at our camps so mm, okay. in, in Poland. Yeah. So literally the foundation come come through catch the flavor all right last two questions of the quick 10 uh, where will you be living in five years in five years mm -hmm. um in five years probably still in la or maybe already in hawaii i thought you're gonna say still in krakow oh yeah oh, no 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 you got five years and what will you be doing in five years i'm gonna be singing um gonna be um living still dancing in either, or yeah still dancing i'm never gonna stop dancing okay. and uh breaking because breaking is also part of my uh like meditation or, or something like that you know i just release a lot of emotions through dance and uh and a lot of tension in my body too you know yeah so if i if i feel like stress and i feel like tension in my body um i would just like stretch maybe and and like you know, like breathe, but also just breaking. And sometimes I need to like crush many times, you know, do a couple, you know, drills on my head and like fall on the floor, you know, and then you know, like, if I throw myself on the floor a lot, like my body is gonna just like release all the tension. And I just come back home after a practice, like super tired, you know, I go to sleep, I take shower, go to sleep, and then I wake up and I feel fresh again. So yeah, that's what's up uh what else all right now we have current topics of the week or the past couple of weeks so there's been this covid 19 pandemic around the world everybody's staying home in quarantine of course. Uh, how do you handle the situation <laughs> well i'm doing um so obviously like a lot of you know businesses and those things is like shut down there is yeah. like there's a, a many events that i was supposed to visit um as a b-boy judge and uh like teach and stuff like that that are also canceled some of the events that we organize like red bull bc1 cypher and poland uh, one and two cyphers actually are also canceled so you know um mm -hmm. i i've been trying to create something like out of you know um my home and using internet so i started to to do a, a coaching program online coaching prog program mm -hmm. and um that's how I, I handle the situation. I still try to bring a positive, you know, positive mm -hmm. uh, vibration to the people and like, like just keep people busy during the hard times and like let them, um, let them work on on their breaking, so and like distract them from the problems also and just uh, it's it's because you know I think like during this time you have two choices you can either like like complain and worry and like waste a lot of time of uh, on like watching Netflix and, you know, doing stupid things and complaining and blah, blah, blah. Or you can actually take advantage of the time that you're staying home and like um, just grow, just like, you know, maybe you can learn some new skill or you can take your breaking skill to, to the next level. 
and uh yeah like like you can use this time well or you can waste this time and uh yeah actually mg is showing the website right now um so on the website you can you can find my coaching program it's it's a six weeks coaching program there is a video explaining everything how it works um i already have some students but like you, everybody can join um still so because like it's very personal coaching program i take every person every student in the class and i make uh 12 person personal video lessons based on their progress like every every three four days i uh i i receive a video from the student and um uh, i i record a new a new video for him for her and uh, this is how we work like they have time to to practice for for three four days to to use the tips that i give them and then they send me another video of how they dance and i give them new tips and try to work with them like that so the whole coaching program is six weeks and uh um yeah on the website you can find there is like um, uh, testimonials from the students from the uh, uh, professional b-boys that i've been coaching before and i've been working with before and uh, so yeah the, the the website is classwithclay.com and uh, you can you can basically break the virus break the COVID 19 and join my class and uh just get your breaking to the next level to upgrade your breaking and um yeah no pretty no, much I mean, that's it yeah this is creative way of of spending this time because obviously you as a dancer have no judging no workshops at the events it's, it's hard to you know support yourself as, as an artist so this is a good way to um to te at the same time teach the new generation you know give your 20 years of experiences and support yourself and pay the bills like this is a creative way and maybe this might set, set a standard in the future as well yeah yeah yeah. and also, of course shout, like, shout out shout out to focus who's been doing bibo dojo as well <laughs> Can't forget yeah about yeah that. yeah. people don't just stop too there's like like people um after i started this i also saw a lot of people just like coming up with online classes um mm -hmm. and uh yeah i just wanted to uh, also use this time right now to invite everyone for the mm -hmm. class because i still have some free spots so if you're trying to take your breaking to the next level uh, go to classwithclay.com and just because we're doing this for the legit and this is the legit like a special moment uh every everybody who's gonna sign up today till uh midnight central european time is gonna get 10 percent um discount it's very special I've, i wanted to not give discounts because uh, like you know i wanted to be like equal for everybody but thanks for the legit and this new platform that we're uh, trying to that you mg uh, are trying to create right here like this is a special option so thanks for the legit for this and um wow. yeah so if you want to take your break into the next level if you sign up today till tw 12 uh, a.m so till midnight you're gonna get 10 percent discount so you're gonna uh, pay basically um a little bit less and you can save some money if you're actually trying to join my my classes my coaching program if you want to learn if you want to take your breaking to the next level just go to the website and, and sign up all right okay dope dope that was dope, promotion dope, dope. for class with um what about other news ib got cancelled wdsf world championship got cancelled in august due to corona um there have been some tries, some alter alternative ways to do battles like Groove E Session just did a battle of eight kids from all around the world. And I think they did a pretty good job. Uh, Moy is about to do Break Free 2020 Championship for $35,000 and cash and prize is going to be all online. Like, what do, what do you think about, like, all of this is what is happening right now? Because this is something totally crazy that nobody expected, let's say, a couple months ago. Well... For sure, like the situation, like I was thinking about it, the situation is so like um, abstract that it's like part, I feel like I'm part in the, of the movie Black Mirror, basically, you know, like everything is so crazy right now. Um, I really hope and believe like everything is going to go back to no normal soon. And uh, yeah, a lot of events, a lot of, you know, like uh, businesses is shut down and I understand it a lot, um, mm -hmm. but you know, 
um, like there's ways and like there's ways to get creative. That's why you did this this show and this podcast. And like you can use this time to just innovate, um, to to create some um, some something totally new. And maybe some of the things are you know are not needed, but you know like tr- trying them right now is is it's great. You know, like for mm-hmm. example, the 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 eight kids battle on um, on the growth session. I think it was it was really really uh, done well. You know that like the technicians took it to really like extreme high level of of uh, technicality of the live stream and everything. Um, mm-hmm. At the same time, uh, you know some of the things like like ideally for me are not working still yet because for example like the lag of the music you know makes you not being able to watch exactly yeah. how the music is connected to the dancer. So like the idea itself is like a little bit hard for this, but, um, but uh, big shout out to them for trying and for taking it to, to some different level. I think it was yeah. pretty, pretty high level of production and, and I enjoyed it watching, even though, you know, some of the things are, were not working for me, but, but still, yeah, they, you know. They basically showed us what is possible and this is great to, you know, set examples, set, set some standards. So much love to Arthur from deep trip trying to do this i think he's gonna do the same thing with uh, adults i think one week from now so he also asked me for feedback so it's good to good to see what other b-boys and big girls th- think about this you know uh, yeah, have, yeah yeah for sure i have one more uh news uh that happened like uh recently uh our friend from brazil uh billy joe passed away uh as uh as a result of COVID-19, like this is really a serious issue. Um, and we just want to, you know, pay pay the respect. And, um, you know, Billy Joe was a co-founder of Funk Fuckers Crew. He was amazing MC and uh, he was really dope with lyrics and poetry. And uh, we just had, I, I had the chance to meet him like three times and he was a really incredible person. Uh, we did the track together with him in... Um, in the Ribeirão Preto in Brazil, Kleju was there as well. Like the energy we experienced in favela was like super real, and and this guy definitely touched us in a way and gave us uh, maybe different perspective on life. And this way, we just want to pay a tribute, uh, rest in peace, Billy Joe. Yeah, rest in peace. And everybody else who who had somebody passed away from from this uh, crazy virus. Uh, let's move on. Uh, what else? Okay. I'm just going to remind again, uh, once again, we got the legit contest for the t-shirt from the new collection. And I'm also dropping in one vi- vinyl. It's breaking. Uh, there's a question on the bottom of the the stream. The question is, uh, at what place Kleju is currently ranked of the legit blast one versus one breaking lifetime ranking? Some already, some guys already reply. So, so just write it on the Facebook comment, and we're just gonna pick one guy, one winner randomly at the end of the stream. Let's move on. Uh, I got the section called "Show Your Skills," and this way, I just wanna uh, encourage people in the future. I mean, this was the first test, but if you guys want to have your round, your video being judged, or you wanna get feedback on your style and the way you break just send it to us we're gonna pick a couple videos and our special guest uh will give you feedback professional feedback where you can work on stuff like this so since um nobody really sent the the video as i said like this is first episode uh we just keep it honest uh i chose one person because i want to give a shine to this guy and kleju was there as well witness this guy to perform so let's watch this guy Yeah, pretty insane. What do you say? Well, definitely, definitely crazy, crazy style and like a lot of energy and hard moves and, and all that. Um, yeah, I actually met Amir earlier uh, the, uh, last year um, because I was um, I was go I was in in Moscow 
-hmm. shooting with Predators, and he's the, new, the newest member um, of Predators crew that we lost in the finals at the Legends Blast. But um, yeah, Amir definitely like came out of nowhere and uh, shook everyone, and mm -hmm. like he he brought the fire and he brought the energy, and um, yeah, like nobody was expecting him to win this event and uh um but i actually like i said i, I met him earlier uh, last year and i already saw shooting with predators that this guy is is definitely um uh like a upcoming super strong you know character in the game and yeah. uh yeah he's 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 definitely like um showing you know the, the good way of of doing this you know he came out out of nowhere shook everyone and like like mm -hmm. from now on, everybody's gonna remember him. You know that's how you yeah. do it. He won both categories, crew battles, I and mean, you guys were in the final and one on one. So gotta want to yeah. give a shout out to Amir. You can follow him on Instagram. I just posted in uh, in a chat room. Amir underline PDVL underline Predators. All right, next up, let's talk about Catch to Flewa real quick, which is the yeah. feature event of the week. Since we we have you here, like, can you tell us more about Catch to Flewa? Sure. So Catch the Flava is, is the camp that we are organizing with uh, with our crew. And uh, uh, Catch the Flava is, is basically like a, a five-day festival, five, six days festival. We have the street style camp. We have the breaking camp also. And uh, if you go on our website, you can like choose which event you, you're attending. Uh, this is two events, two different events, but they're like together at the same place. So we actually mix the styles of, of street styles and breaking, which is actually a perfect balance of, you know, of, of different, you know, styles, but with the same, within the same culture, which is hip hop, you know, and, uh, and yeah, like it used to be only breaking camp, but we, uh, we came with, uh, with uh, the street styles camp. Uh, three years ago, and it was actually a perfect idea to combine uh, the different styles and just like mingle with each other and just have fun all together. So yeah, just to quickly show you guys the website, you, if you're a b-boy, you choose the breaking camp. Um, if you're a street style, you obviously choose the street styles. And then you can check like on the side, there is a, a menu. You can check the lineup. We have pretty crazy lineup here. Uh, Nikin, freaking, you know, you can read uh, Can Swift, Physics, um, all the guys intact, Victor, AT, and, and also um, we've got uh, Flea Rock and some more people coming coming up. But, uh, like, yeah, if you go to the website, catchtheflavor.com, you can read all the details. There is a lot of information, uh, what you can expect. And there is videos, there is gallery, the, there, is, um, there is a lot of pictures and stuff like that. So you can check it out and uh, yeah, and you can sign up for our camp. It's mm -hmm. really, really one of the, the dopest experiences that you can have as a b-boy or b-girl or as a street style dancer. Um, if you want to learn, like um, it's the best place, but mm -hmm. also if you just want to like exchange with people and have fun on the best parties, and then you can go to Outbreak and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's my favorite event ever, you know, and I'm not only saying this because I'm one of the organizers, mm -hmm. but it's also just my favorite time in the year where, you yeah. know, we see people from all around the world. It's summer in Poland and we're just having fun, you know, we're exchanging and, and with like a lot of dope, dope teachers and dope, you know, people from all around the world, basically. Okay. And so what is the current situation because of the, you know, uh, coronavirus, yeah. things are canceling, the, a lot of events like... What about catch the flavor? Fla sorry, catch the flavor. When you guys gonna yeah. make the decision, or what's the update so people could you know follow so, up? So, so for now we're like very optimistic, and we're like thinking that soon the thing's gonna you know um, get better with the coronavirus and like the lockdown. So mm -hmm. we really hope that the event's gonna be able, like we're we're gonna be able to to make it still. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, you know, the safety of our students and of our, you know, artists is, uh, is you know, our priority. So uh, if, if we will have to, like, make a decision that we have to cancel or any other decision, like, we will do it. Um, we decided to make the decision uh, around May, like maybe in the, like in the beginning of May or, or something like that. 
And uh, yeah, we have we also have some ideas. You know, if if we will have to make this tough decision of canceling the camp, we have some ideas also like to like maintain something and mm -hmm. still make it you know a, a worldwide experience somehow. And uh, I can't really tell you more details now mm -hmm. because I'm like we're still in the in the process of creating it. But mm -hmm. yeah, like for sure something is gonna happen if it's not gonna be you know, um, you know, a real um, a camp like we used to do it. We're going to create something dope for the people, you know, so so something's going to happen. That's that's the thing that I want to, that I can't say now. Mm -hmm. um, I can't tell you like more details because we're still in the process of creating it. All right. Dope, dope. We got some more guys tuning in. Much love to Kid Guma from Brazil. Nori, All right. Much also love. talking about Cash to Flava. Uh, give him respect. Uh, let me show you another video. I just want to see how you feel about how was your experience with this. So I'm just going to play this for the guy. So how was your experience? This is this your first official s song, like or being part of the song, recorded? Well, yeah, this is definitely the first official appearance in like you know any like music um, officially you know released on mm -hmm. Spotify and like YouTube and all the platforms. I released some of the songs, but just um, it was not like officially released. It was just you know from like small concerts from, from like small performances I did before and uh, mm -hmm. yeah this was the first actual like project that came out and uh, I was yeah I'm super glad to be to be part of this project because it was super fun big shout out to uh, to also Cloud and Miko from uh, from LA and my sister because they helped me to record the the singing part and to create it and to make it happen and mm -hmm. also a big shout out to UMG to uh, for for making this all together and like bringing all the artists and uh, yeah just just finalizing the thing and releasing it for the world because it's really really dope it's a really dope project. As you said, hip hop is fun, so that's what we're trying to do, having fun. Yeah. So yeah. are you down to actually do a live showcase of your dancing or singing, or whatever? I just leave it up to you. Like this is like a challenge at the end of the interview to get people a little entertained and show your skills? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I was thinking about it. And uh, so I prepared uh, my ukulele okay. so I could play for you guys a little bit um, right. and sing. But also I want you to join me because it's the song that we are we created together. So yeah, okay. can you like do your part? And um, I could just do a cappella because yeah, the time, the, the sound lagging will be probably too much but yeah i can try if i remember okay so let's, let's do it let's do it yeah let's yeah, do yeah. it totally. all right so we got Kleju live on his ukulele all right okay let's do it song let's that do we it. perform at your at your birthday life will be very easy if you just I believe I can change the world. I already am, and you can do it too. Come on, 
people keep telling you what you shouldn't do and what they think is best for you. All right? Limited reasoning. You better stop listening. This is the time to change your game. The word is yours. Stop being someone's slave. Stop being so lame. Set your aim. Get out of your lane. Forget the fame. You the happiness. The... Damn, son. I forgot the lyrics. Anyway, but it went something like this. It's freestyle. I was not prepared for yeah, this. But you actually turned the challenge for you. Turned it to me. So thank you for that. But anyway. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty dope, man. Yeah, I did. We did the uh, song at the Legends Blast was Legends Blast last summer. So yeah, ever ever since I didn't, you know, repeat the lyrics. So I suck on that anyway. Yeah, uh, like this. Yeah, that's the song that we actually created um, before my birthday uh, last year. And yeah. uh, I was uh, I I wanted to create a show of of myself like a live show with me yeah. singing for my 30th birthday. And yeah. uh, basically. Um, I had only like maybe five songs and I wanted to create a new one. I already had like the idea. And yeah. so I asked MG to, to, to be like be on the featuring and like do the part of the show with me with this song. And so we never actually recorded the song and it was like super freestyle, but on the, on the live show, it was pretty, pretty crazy. And I actually, I can't wait when we gonna um, record the song and make it live and, and all the songs that I'm about to, to do. Yeah, yeah bro. it's pretty exciting. We're just setting a new studio in my hometown during this crazy time. So you're welcome anytime the or the fresh. border opens <laughs> between fresh, Poland fresh. and Slovakia. But yeah, anyway, what else do we have? So I just want to announce the final answer for the for the for the contest. Uh, let me turn you off for a little bit. Uh so the right answer is hold on i need to switch it up so the lifetime ranking one versus one breaking kaleju is ranked fifth with 1400 points score 62 one 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 so let me see we got a couple of no we got we, we got three right answers so I'll just talk to Kleju after the stream and we're going to randomly pick the winner. Thank you for your participation. Uh, what do we have next? One second, because this is a one man army over here trying to click on everything. Uh, just one more thing. Uh, I want to feature um, newest mixtape of the week or song of the week, if you will. And this one's going to go to to my homie from my hometown uh dj funk dot he he's a producer and dj from my from my hometown and uh he's been a game for a long time and he prepared a special mixtape for b-boys it's called b-boy boom bap mix 2020 uh it's over it's one hour 19 minutes i already got down to it like a couple times there's a lot of fresh music even uh from the community by by plage and some classics uh snoop dog and stuff like this so it's it's a really dope boom bap so just go to soundcloud.com slash dj underline funk dot or visit his instagram dj funk dot so yeah that's the mixtape of the week we're coming back coming back to pleasure uh one thing so yeah this is pretty much it. Uh, let me know your final message or what is your last thing you want to tell the world. Like, just mm -hmm. I just leave it up to you. Okay, so um, my last message to the world is basically, uh, guys, follow your dreams. Anything is possible. Um, like, just be yourself. And um, it's very cliche, easy things, but it's, it's good to remind these things. And uh, also big shout out to you, MG, for creating this new platform. Um, like the test round, I'm, I'm glad to be a part of the test, mm -hmm. test round. And it's been fun and, you know, it's cool. And I think it, it could be a really, really big project in the future. And you're always like bringing like dope ideas and making it happen. So, so big shout out to you and also to the legit. And um, I want to say again, if, you're, if some of the guys watching want to join my my coaching program, go to classwithclayu.com. And um, 
like again if you're sign up today you're gonna have 10 percent off or you can just um go to the website check the you know um check the information and yeah just again like guys enjoy your life stay strong stay safe during these crazy times right now uh all this happening you know it's, it's for a good reason just uh, focus on healing focus on like getting better and um uh, rest you know from from the craziness of the world the earth is like resting right now and um like we we should rest too and like just you know make good decisions and um yeah just and come just back stronger. enjoy this life man and come back <laughs> str stronger because life is good you know you can create anything you want and um that's what it is yeah man like See what guys, play, little... bro yeah let us know the feedback guys if you like what you like what you didn't like if the stream was good if it, if the sound was lagging just let us know your experience you can watch this or re-watch this uh, stream again on the legends facebook we also try to export the sound for the spotify podcast uh our next uh episode will be next thursday uh 8 p.m central european time and our next guest will be rox right all right so Stay tuned. Uh, send us some questions for Rox. Uh, send us some rounds if you want Rox to judge or give you feedback about your, your break-in and give us some feedback. We love you. Stay safe. Be well. One love. Peace out, bro. Peace, guys. Thanks again, Thanks again bro. Peace, peace. One love.